Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance and Tarot. Okay, so the next celebrity couple I'm going to do, I promise after I do this couple, I will go to a North American couple. Uh, but this couple is going to be Catherine Bernardo and Daniel Padilla. Uh, so this is another Filipino couple. I've been asked to do this couple, so it's like, all right, I'll do one more Filipino, Filipino couple, and then I will go on to someone from North America. All right, so um, these two have been dating apparently for seven years or ten years. They've been together a long time. He is a Taurus. She's an Aries. They're both uh, stars. In the Philippines. Okay, so I, the first thing I pick up on Daniel and Catherine. I'm not saying that they don't love each other because I do feel that they love each other, but they're nothing like Liza and Enrique. Daniel, I feel, mm, is a little bit on, I feel like he's a little more self centered. What can you do for me? Um, I feel Catherine sometimes is uh makes him look good mm, but he's I, I feel he's a little bit self-centered i feel he's egotistical he's got an ego to him yes he loves catherine catherine loves him but i feel like this relationship is more settled um they're kind of content i don't feel like they're in love in love like Enrique and Liza. That's just pure love. Those two love each other like no tomorrow, right? These two, you know how I said, you know, you always want the boy to love the girl more. I feel like Catherine comes to him more. Catherine is the one that I don't want to say chases him because the two of them are together, but I think she's the one who gives in more to make him happy. I feel like she has to be the one that sacrifices, compromises, um, you know, and I, I, I almost kind of want to say that they're kind of together because they're expected to be together. That Like there's an obligation here. I don't know if it's because the fans... Like, of course, they love each other. They're together. But what keeps them together is expectations of other people. So, um, I don't know if they're going to get married. These two are kind of fine with the way it is. I don't know if marriage is in the card for these guys. They are also working on their careers. I don't know how old they are. But I feel like career is number one for both of them. Together, they make it work. And together, they seem to be a super couple. Like, he's a, he's a movie star. She's a movie star. Put them together. They're superstars. They're super... Like, their relationship on their own is an entity. It's like people will have it no other way than have Catherine and Daniel together. If, I feel like if they split apart, they will be less than what they are together. So it's like they kind of stay together because they understand what their relationship brings to their career, if that makes sense. So I'm not saying they don't love each other or anything like that. I just don't feel like they are all happy, happy in love like Liza and Enrique. I know I keep going back to those two because those two are very happily in love. They are. He he would do anything for this woman. Daniel is like, what can you do for me, Catherine? So I, I just feel Catherine bows down to him a little bit more to make him happy. I feel he can be a little bit, he's, I don't know if he's spoiled or um, entitled. I feel entitlement coming from Daniel. He's got an ego and that ego needs to be fueled. So, um, so I don't see them getting married anytime soon. And I mean, I'm not saying that they're, that, that they're together only for stardom, but I feel that they're obligated more because this is what people are expect, what's expected of them. Okay. I feel that he's, it's like, she's always trying to please him. 
She's always trying to please him because I get like, because as a reader, I pick up other people's feelings. All I need is a first name and I can pick up a feeling. I pick up how she feels. I feel she's always trying to please him and he can never be happy. He's never happy. And he's, he can be difficult. Yes, he loves her. They love each other. They do. But she has to cater to him. And I feel like sometimes he's hard to please. He's got an ego. <laughs> so, but I don't feel marriage is in the cards for the many times soon. Their focus is on their, their, uh, their careers. Okay. I'll get my cards out. See what the cards say. Um, okay, I'm going to use these cards here. Okay, what are the messages regarding Catherine and Daniel? Catherine, they're like, I mean, they're a solid couple, you know, um, you know, they're a solid couple. They're just, eh, I don't feel like they're in love anymore. They just love each other. There's nothing wrong with that. I feel like Sometimes it can be a show, you know, they know that the two of, they know what their roles are, put it that way. If they, I don't know if there's red carpet and awards in Philippines, but I feel like they could be fighting and when they walk that red carpet, they'll put the smile on and they'll be happy for the cameras. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but they, there's, you know, there's some faking going on. All right, messages regarding Daniel and Catherine. Daniel and Catherine. Daniel and Catherine. I don't think they're going to split up. Daniel and Catherine. What are the messages regarding Daniel and Catherine. Okay, what are the messages between between Daniel and Catherine? We have the Two of Swords. This is about compromising and balancing and then making decisions on thought and reason rather than emotions. So you can see her back is turned against the water. And she, both of them, are when it comes to this relationship, decisions are made on thought and reason, what's best for us, rather than emotionally what's best for them. You can see mountains in the background. There's obstacles. There's, you know, it's like this isn't, this isn't, um, I, there's a coldness there between them. All right. I don't feel warm and fuzzy feelings between them. Then we have the nine of wands. So the nine of wands is something, like, it's like they keep persisting. They keep pushing forward. Typically with the nine of wands, it's a card that means um, when, uh, you know, you've been fairly beat up, but you keep pushing, pushing, pushing. You keep moving forward, um, even though it's been hard. So they keep pushing forward. We have the four of wands. This talks about stability. Their friendship, they have a, they have a stable relationship it is stable all right but I feel like this these two are like a normal couple they fight they get angry with each other I don't feel like Enrique and Liza fight these two fight they get over it but they fight and then we have the four of pentacles this is about desire for long-term security and there is a fear of change here all right so they're scared there's you know I'm not saying one wants to leave the other but they want that long-term security with each other. Okay. And let's see what the future messages are regarding Catherine and Daniel. Future messages regarding Catherine and Daniel. What are the future messages regarding Catherine and Daniel? What are the future messages regarding Catherine and Daniel? I just get Daniel feels entitled. You know, and he's he's a little bit harder to please. Future messages regarding Daniel and uh, Catherine. 
Daniel and Catherine. Daniel and Catherine. Okay, so what are the future messages? We have the Nine of Pentacles, and this talks about luxury, self-sufficiency. It's about financial gain. So these two have earned everything by their own hands, all right? They are sur surrounded by beauty and luxury, and they have worked hard for what they have. This is They're working together, all right? We have the Ace of Cups. And this is about, this could be, this is talking about a new baby. It's about the relationship. This does talk about, about proposal and marriage. That emotionally, they do fulfill each other. Okay? So they are, there's like, they're, they're together. You know, they're happily together. They're fine being together, but he's work. All right? Here's this card again. Four of Wands. Look how many cards are here. There's the Four of Wands again. This is about celebrations. This is family, friends, wedding. Again, we got two wedding cards. So I asked about the future. We have two wedding cards here. All right, stability again. Future, the, the, what the future says, they're going to have stable relationships still. Then we have the temperance card, which talks about balance, harmony, self-control, moderation. Everything has to be done within balance with these two guys. They don't jump feet first too they don't jump in head first. You can see she's dipping her toe in the water. They're slowly doing this. They're, really, they're trying to keep that balance and that harmony in the relationship. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles. And this is about mastering something. I feel she's the one who works on this more. He's more worried about himself. And she's worried about the two of them. So this is her, I feel, that keeps working on the relationship. I'm not saying that he's not working on it. I'm just saying that she needs to be the one that conceits and says, okay, Daniel, let's have it your way. He's a stronger man. You know, he's a stronger man than um, Enrique is. You know, he knows what he wants. And Catherine will give him what he wants. You know, if it means that she even has to be the one that sacrifices or she's the one who has to compromise. Okay. All right. There you go. That's the reading on Catherine and Daniel. I really hope you guys enjoyed this reading. And um, if anybody's looking for a private reading, all you have to do is email me. My video, my uh, email address will be at the bottom of the video. And um, I will get back to you within 24 hours if, if you would like to purchase a reading. This is how I do my readings. It's energy work. I don't know anything about Catherine or Daniel. But when I think about Catherine and Daniel, then I think about Enrique and Liza, two different couples, two very different people. You know, you've got Enrique, who is completely in love and will do anything for this woman. Then you have Daniel, who is more like, what can you do for me? So that is how I do my readings. I, I pick up, and I don't know anything about the, these guys, right? And so when I did my reading on Daniel and, sorry, on uh, Enrique and Liza, I had a lot of comments saying, wow, you feel everything that we see. So anyway, okay, all right, there you go. I really hope you enjoyed this reading. Please subscribe, like, share, hit the little icon button. And then you'll know when my new videos come out. All right. Okay. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.